Uh, Steve Spangler is on his way to Alaska, and Steve is saying there's a lot of the same thing, a lot of the same kind of flooding up there. Uh, yeah, and it's not from rain, it's from the glaciers melting. So uh, at uh, Mendenhall Glacier, they're talking about flash floods around the area because the uh, the glaciers are melting at such a high rate. Two years ago when we took our teachers, Science at Sea, uh, we had our naturalists have us take a look at just parts of the glacier. They said when you come back even next year, you won't well, see that ice sakes. anymore. The calving that we're seeing is happening six to eight feet a day. She uh, was. And the recession, you know, that ice receding, there's no way that it'll ever catch up. So, she was. But that's what part of Science at Sea is all about. We really want to create this field trip for teachers. And we're going to report live from Science at Sea. So it'll be I know, I love fun. it. We love and it when we'll you're live that. from the ship. So, and we're going to talk about, everybody always asks about the oil spill. That's one of the first things they ask the rangers. Have we completely recovered from the Exxon Valdez? I wanted to show you some of the technology behind it. You have a glass of uh, a container of water, I okay. have a container of All water. Right. We're going to use something that's similar to uh, that same crude oil that we you would see before. This is um, a, a synthetic, this is a, a material called Marvel Mystery Oil. Okay. We use it for the demonstration because it's red and it looks great. Does it float to the top like that in the ocean as well? Is that what happens? It does, yep. So thank goodness because as soon as it goes to the bottom, that's when the danger really sits oh, in. Uh, because that's uh, when you can't control it. So going in and putting detergent on the oil to try to clean it up, makes it disappear and the public's happy about it because it's gone, but it's not really gone. So oh. everybody says it's that's maybe one of the worst things you could do. I this see. is a polymer. Take a look at this. I'll sprinkle some on the table here. It's kind of coarse. You can put your fingers in it. It's perfectly safe. This particular material here will grab onto the oil. So here's what I want you to do is I want you to slowly sprinkle it in yours. And what you're going to see is not absorption, but adsorption. It just means that it hooks on the outside. It's AD instead oh, of I AB. See. So it collects you take a look it. At, it does collect it. Kind of in a one-to-one -one ratio. So do they do you, this? They do this. So go ahead and keep on going. More, more, more. You can even do more. There you go. So what's going to happen is this. You can see that it's starting to, yeah, there you go. And so as we move this whole thing around like this, you can see that sure it starts enough. to form this layer. Take a look at this. I'm going to push down. Oh, Would you look at that? Sake, it's and like so a, there like it is. Like a little cake. Like a little a polymer cake that's cake. there. So believe it or not, they can use this kind of uh, technology. Gee whiz, look at this to be able to remove right out of the, water. the oil. So uh, on the latest spill, not in Alaska, but the latest spill that uh, was happening in the Gulf, right. they use these uh, in film. You got the, it. The, the booms are and they, they put the polymer inside here and then would set it down so when the oil would come in contact it. The problem is there was so much oil, they couldn't pick these up, haul them away fast enough to put the new ones down. But here, reach inside and see if you've got it. Look at this. It becomes a solid. And there it is. There is your solid. So there is technology. This can go on the bird's that feathers and the wings. They can use this with clean up on the beaches. And it's a polymer that grabs onto that oil. So is the this technology the same polymer is great. in uh, baby diapers that we use all the time? Or, no, no it's, is a that's one. an absorbent polymer. But this is specifically for oil, which is fascinating. And the, and the greatest part is the guy who invented this, um, pa well, the, the bad thing is he passed away before they ever saw it used in, in oh, this type of commercial yeah. application because uh, the government had some regulations about sprinkling this powder in the open seas. They want you to contain it like this, but you can see how effective this is. So that it's is been a, an activist project for kids all over the country to say, this is what we can use, unfortunately, when those spills happen. You can actually burn this, and there's a BTU rating on it, and really? you can extract some of the energy. No kidding. So the guy was absolutely amazing. It's a great inspirational story for kids to understand that the science is right there at their fingertips. Another way to save our oceans. You can got I point, it. Can I point something else that I have learned here? Yes. Mine is. Can, can you see these cherries? Put mine next to Steve's. Mine looks much nicer it than is. yours does. <laughs> and you, you are You've done well. I, as a scientist. You've done, I, I just you've want done to say, because this, this rarely yes, happens it, for it, me. It, I it's actually so have much better. <laughs> so you get to take this home now and put it under your pillow. And, I, I and think that's amazing. It will amazing. be there in the morning, I, but you get you to know, take it home. Kim and I were just we report on this all the time, and we see the booms go into the water, and we you know, we watch this, and you know, and and a lot of the oil hits the beach before they get this down, and that's always sad yep, when they're cleaning yep. the sand and the rock. But it's there, and it's a guy just like you and me uh, that would sit there and, and kind of come up with this uh, this wonderful idea. What a great way to do it. So we're going to report live all next week. Okay. We're going to follow us on Facebook at okay. Steve Spangler, and, uh, and we'll share what these 100 teachers are doing in Alaska. We're looking forward to it. Thanks, Science Guy.